animal friend, Hannah Honey Pod Chapter 4. And by the way, guys, this book is getting so, so, so much interesting. Or, like, yeah. And by the way, guys, um, just want to say that, do you guys have this book in the Maisie one? I'm going to show you with the Maisie. This book. Oh, I'm low T. If you have it, please write it down. Where did you buy it? Because I really want to buy those two books. Mm, well, there is an Amazon, but it's so, it costs so much, so I decided not to buy it. And, by the way, Amelia's Freckle Ball is well. Okay, well, thank you. So, last time we are at the Great Uncle Bear. Gray Bear and Relive Here we go. The girls, Goldie and Hannah, looked sadly up at the memory tree. Its flower had wilted and its leaves had begun to drip and through it were an autumn. Tears were dropping down from Hannah's cheeks to the flowers the flower Hannah had picked earlier. Still in her paw, its petals still bright yellow. Jess reached for it gently and tucked it behind one of Hannah's soft brown ears. There, there, she said. Well, bring back the other flowers too. Hannah wiped her eyes and gave a little grin. Lily found it thoughtfully. Goldie, she said. Has the memory tree ever lost his heart before? Uh, I don't know, said Goldie sadly. I don't know very much about the heart trees. Hannah thought for a moment. Then her eyes lit up. My great uncle Grey Bear is always telling me stories about the heart trees, she cried. They were planted when he was a cub. Perhaps he can help. That's a brilliant idea, said Jess. Hannah jumped up and down with excitement. Great Uncle Gray Bear, then it's this way, she said. Come on. Hannah led his the friends along the stony path line with star flower bushes. Look, Lily pointed, in a clearing with a tall stork. Who is staring up at the colorful patchwork, hot air balloon, and scratching his head with a wingtip? It's Captain Ace! What's wrong, Captain? Goldie's Squirrel called. The stroke heard. I'm wondering what that big, floaty thing is, she said. It's your balloon, explained Jess. You use it to fly all your friends around the forest. Oh, said Captain Ace. He scratched his head again. I must have forgotten. Goldie pointed across the hill, clearing where some tiny mice were scurrying along, purring all around them. It's a twinkle tails, she said. They look puzzled too. Lily called to the biggest mouse. Molly, are you okay? We can't remember the way home. Molly squeaked. Follow that path, Lily pointed, and turn right at the crystal pond. Thank you, said Molly, and the twinkle tail scurried away. Oh dear, Goldie said. Everybody must be forgotten things because the memory tree has lost its magic. Then let's hurry before it gets even worse. Said Lily. It's strange, said Jess. The animals are forgetting things, but we're not. Lily thought for a moment. We're from the human world, and Goldie was one straight there. So perhaps that's why we're all okay, she said. Goldie nodded. And look, she said, pointing to the flower behind Hannah's ears. Hannah still got a flower from the memory tree. My bed is protecting her from the spell. Lily and Jess glanced at each other. Hannah's flower hadn't was like the one on the memory tree, but its petals were already dropping. After it went, 
Would Hannah forget everything too? They hurried on through the forest. Finally, Hannah cried, We're here! This is Great Uncle Grey Bear Den. The girls looked around, but all they could see was a tree trunk covered in ivy. I. Where? asked Lily. Hannah ran to the tree and knocked and trunk the trunk. Knock, knock, knock. It's me, Uncle, Hannah called, knocking again. And my friend Goldie, Jess, and Lily. Hannah, said a deep, gruffy voice. Come right in, dear. A patch of flows by the trunk moved aside to reveal staircase going down into the ground. The girl was grinning at each other. Then they followed Hannah down the stairs into a cozy room with squishy armchairs. A red rug and a crunky log fire. Flowers painting hung on the wooden walls and in the middle of the room a big gray bear stood smiling holding a broom. He bowed, do, do sit down. It was just, I can't remember what I was doing. Jess pointed to his broom. I think you might have been sweeping. Great Uncle Gray Bear. Ah oh, yes, said Great Uncle Gray Bear looking down at his broom. That's it. It's forgetting everything already. Lily whispered to Jess. Let's ask him about Hartree's quickly. Great Uncle Gray Bear, Jess asked. Can you tell us about the heart trees? Heart trees? The, the bear never heard of them. They're the oldest tree in Fresher Forest, said Lily. Fresher Forest? He said. Never heard of that. Either where's my... Um, my sweeping thing, he said. It's in your paw, said Jess, pointing to the broom. Ah, yes, said Great Uncle Gray Bear. Then he began sweeping the bookcase. He's forgetting everything, Lily said. Honey's eyes filled with tears again, and just look at Lily in dismay. Then Great Uncle Gray Bear spoke. Maybe my scrapbook can help you, young bear, he said. She stopped keeping the bookcase and took down a pile of scrapbook. The friends took one each and began searching through them. The pages were filled with snippets of writing, pictures, and press leaves. They were just like our memory box, Jess, said Lily. Here's one. From the great uncle gray bear with a cup, cried Lodi. The others peered over her shoulder as flick past school reports, swimming, certificates, and page of drawing. Go back, cried Jess suddenly. There's something about the heart trees. Lodi turned to the page, and there was a whole spread full of doddles, scribbles, and pictures, all about the heart trees. Lily read the pages out loud. After the tree were planted, losing animals protect the memory tree's heart. If someone harms the tree, its heart will split into three pieces, which must be found and put back together. Wherever the last three memory shows by the tree took place, that's where the heart piece will be hidden. The last three memories the tree showed were ours said Lily. Just weird Hannah around. Now we know how to fix the memory tree. Okay, guys, to, so we already finished chapter four and um, tomorrow we're going to do chapter five. And it's, again, I was saying that sorry about that. I was saying that uh, this is getting so interested. If and if you don't want to stay on the screen, of course you can buy it at Book Desk Priority. Remember, Book Desk Priority. If you don't really know how to spell, don't worry. Just look at the last last video I sent it to you, and you will see the name. And also Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is a famous book which my teacher just 
tell me about it and it has a PDF because you didn't watch my last video um I talked uh, I, sh I didn't show you but I did tell you so I hope you know and by the way again please I beg you if you have low T or Maisie, please tell me where did you buy it? I really want those two books. And by the way, guys, I was uh, at Book Desk Party already buying two new books yesterday. I can't wait for them to come. And those two books are Jasmine's the Puppy. So, Jasmine the Puppy. So, yeah, Jasmine the Puppy is a really cute uh golden retriever so and i can't wait to watch it and by the way i have a lot of dog of magic animal friends i have poppy charlotte and now it's coming a new one hmm? you know what is it right uh it's jasmine yeah jasmine, jasmine and the other one i can't wait for that one i'm the that book is the most exciting one i think because it's about the hard trees and if it's about the hard tree, you know what serious it's it, right? So if it's the hard tree, the serious it is, it's the serious stuff. Guys, I already got Hannah Honeypaw and Matilda Fluffy. Wait. And I'm now going to buy this book. And I just need two more, two more books to collect. And I am finished. Oh, bye. By the way, guys, I haven't finished the whole entire, like, series. No series I have finished. So, at least one I really want to have that one. And I think our, my new target is to get series for the collection. Please, series for collection, collection. Because I... I already have three books from series four and and two books that I all wanted is not here. Ah, okay. And by the way, um, yeah, again, uh, if you really just buy it in Amazon, you don't need to write it down, okay? I won't buy any books from Amazon. Maybe if both that's probably really close or something. So, but if just maybe if you buy it in Amazon, you don't need to tell me. But if you buy it like in a store, like in Hong Kong, by the way, I'm living in, in Hong Kong. So, like if you're living in kind of like England, United States, Japan, like that, or hmm, just like France, pa Paris, sorry, it's not Paris, it's Paris. Uh, anyway, if you're living in these countries, I'm sorry, you can't help me because I'm not living in those countries. But I am in living in Hong Kong because, and I know how to speak Chinese. So, if you can really remember, at the first few videos I was talking Chinese, but I was thinking and I thought, Maybe we I could speak English better than Chinese, so every like all the countries can hear. Even Chinese people can hear English a tiny bit. Okay, anyway, and yeah, if you're from uh, Hong Kong and you got these two books, Low T and oh, Maisie, please message me down below the chat. Where did you buy them? And just for a reminder, in the last video, I was reading chapter three in Hannah Honeypaw. In there, I call you to vote things. Like, vote which book should we read next. And, well, well, basically, it's just like, if you don't understand what I said, it's just kind of like, um, how to explain to you? Okay, I know how to explain now. So, it's kind of like voting mean like to see like which one you pick the book and I will just see which book is you all want to read the most. Like, 
like if the Mia Poppy here has 90 volt, it's just an example, okay? Um, and 90. so, and then Matilda, 10 volt, and what's the other one again? I forgot. Uh, I think it's uh, Mia, 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 Matilda, oh, and Chloe, Spider Slides, 50, and that means we're going to read Mia, because Mia is kind of like more like it has 90 something something. Um, yeah, no, is it 98? I, I forgot again. I'm um, just a clumsiness like Marinette. Yeah, this new don't care about Marinette. Marinette is just a simple character that's really clumsy and miraculous. And of course, but she's in love with a tree in the grass. Oh, they're in love. Are they gonna marry soon? Mm, and I can't, by the way, I can't wait for the next Miraculous new episode to come. Because I want to see if they're going to get married in the next episode. And not episode, it's episode. Okay, anyway. Wait a minute, why am I talking about Miraculous while I'm talking about Magic Animal Friends? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was just saying Marinette, and then I just start Adrian and then Miraculous. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so I want to see a vote. Remember to vote, 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 vote. Ow. Anyway, remember to like and subscribe my channel. And I'm going to add a new video right now, which I'm going to upload right now. After I upload this video. It's like about, it's, uh, about Magic Animal Friends quiz. Yeah, quiz, you could say. Okay, anyway, we'll see you later. Bye!